video, I'm going to show you how to use a Cricut Joy in order to make pantry labels with the smart vinyl that comes with the Cricut Joy product lineup. So what I'm going to do is take you through a quick tutorial step by step with what you need to do in design space to create these awesome pantry labels and then you can also label anything else that your heart desires. So stay tuned and I will show you quickly how to do just that. In order to make these labels, you're going to need the Cricut Joy, the Cricut Joy Smart Label Writable Vinyl, um, and a pen that comes with it. And the pens that come with the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and the Maker do not work in this machine, so you'll have to get specific Cricut Joy uh, pens for this to work. And the labels are absolutely amazing um, because they are writable and they don't smudge. You're also going to need a computer with Design Space. Uh, Design Space is uh, Cricut's new, not new, it's um, software that is used for your Cricut Joy, which is new. And as you can see, it has no buttons. Um, it's pretty slick, pretty sleek. Um, and then you'll need the smart label and the pens, like I obviously mentioned. Um, what you'll be doing is um, using these pens, and this is a screenshot of like the silhouette as well as the Cricut uh, Explore pens. Again, they are uh, a lot thinner than the Cricut Joy, so just something to consider. You also need the blade. And um, as you can see, Cricut Joy um, came up with a huge lineup of products that um, you can use with the Cricut Joy, but today it's just the writable vinyl that I'm going to show you. I am currently in design space and opened up the template cutting file so that you can see what it looks like. If you opened up another one, it might have more uh, labels on it, which is fine. So I just deleted the ones that I didn't need. What you'll see is that a lot of these um, are actually grouped. So when you open it, you'll find that um, some of them are attached. Some of them might be grouped. In order to modify the text, you have to ungroup it. I haven't figured out how to click in it and edit it. So it's kind of this weird nuance thing um, that Design Space does. So anyway, in order to edit it, what you have to do is click on it, click on detach, and then I would typically hide all these so that I don't accidentally modify it. And then I can see here that I can now go in and edit it. So just highlight it and then um, you want to unlock it so you can text and then you can put in the text. So I'll say baking powder. Okay, and if you needed to make the text a little bit smaller because these borders might be um, kind of covered, what you can do is make the text a little bit smaller here by just highlighting it and then just squishing it down a little bit. And um, you see how like it doesn't keep the proportions? In order to constrain that, I'm going to do Control Z, hit Shift, and then it should be able to constrain to the portion sizes, okay? So um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and Control Z that. Now I'm going to showcase all of that, all of the different layers. Ooh. Make sure the eyeballs are on. And then I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to do shift and highlight four of those areas. And then I'm going to attach them again. Uh, because what you want to do is click on the attach on that bottom right side so that Cricut knows that when you go ahead and go make it, um, it will then allow you to make it all together and it knows that it's one thing together versus having separate things. And make sure that you have the boxes or the layers right here uh, set up so that it's either cut or draw. So obviously we want the gold and the um, black to be drawn and then the box to actually be cut. Okay, so what you'll want to do is hit make it and then it will ask you whether or not uh, you want to do it without a mat, on a mat, or a card mat. So if you're doing the labels that are with the smart writable vinyl, uh, smart label writable vinyl, you'll want to go ahead and click that one without a mat because it already has a mat embedded. And if you're using the Cricut Joy, it's really, really easy to go do. Hit done. And then what you can do is actually set up uh, your mat. And here's a trick. Like, did you know that you could move this? I had no idea until I started uh, doing this project. You can actually move it so you can conserve paper. So that's just something to consider. So what you can do is go ahead and um, hit apply, and then you can actually go ahead and cut. And it will guide you through the process um, that I kind of show in the blog post so that you can see like what you need to do. Honestly, um, I'm not gonna buy this. I don't know why it says purchase, but what you can do is go ahead and put in your vinyl. Um, and it will guide you to what pins or um, blade you want to put in, and then it'll start cutting. And with the Cricut Joy, it allows you to auto-load the paper, so there's no buttons on the Cricut Joy cutting machine. It'll just auto-load and then cut. 
The one thing I will say is that um, it does use about half an inch at the very top of vinyl. So if you're like sparse on vinyl, just make sure that you have about a half inch to an inch worth of um, vinyl that you're okay with letting go of because it does take a big portion of the head portion in order to, I guess, auto load. Anyway, that's how you use the design space um, with the um, template that I provided. Once you get past the screen, it'll ask you to choose the uh, type of vinyl that you need. Just look for the smart label uh, writable vinyl. And then what you'll want to do is follow the instructions to load the pen um, in. And so this is the uh, kind of brown gold pen that I'm using. And all you did was um, take the lever, open it, and just drop it in. It's really that easy. Uh, put the blade in a safe spot. Obviously, it's, there's a sharp point. So if you have kids around, uh, be uh, aware of that. And then um, obviously with the uh, smart vinyl, you'll want to make sure that it's out of the package. And then um, you do not need to pre-cut this at all. Okay, so don't, no need to pre-cut. But what it will do is once you guide it uh, between the guides, it'll auto load itself. And make sure you have room in the back, um, unlike me. And because what it will do is uh, measure the vinyl when it feeds it in. And then um, you're going to go ahead and click on start and it will start the vinyl uh, basically drawing. So you'll notice that um, here, what you can see is that the vinyl is there. There's um, the rollers, uh, the black rollers that will guide the vinyl inside and then it'll just start writing. The Cricut Joy, after you set up everything in design space, will start writing right away. And then um, once you unload it, you'll notice that it doesn't smudge or smear, which is the great thing about these Cricut Joy markers. Um, it will guide you when it needs the next pen color. Um, it will always draw before it cuts. So that's just something to consider as well. So it'll start drawing and um, writing. And then once you need to, um, you, it'll guide you to putting in the blade. And once you uh, grab the blade, put it in there, it'll start cutting um, where you want it to cut. And remember, like the place that it cuts is the place where you actually mark cut. So the layer that you mark cut is where it's going to cut. So if you start seeing that it's cutting your letters, that means that your design had the wrong um, indicator on that layer. Okay, so just something to consider. I hope you found that tutorial super easy. Um, I think that the Cricut Joy is an amazing product because it is so portable and it allows you to customize things that you typically wouldn't get your um, cutting machine out, your bigger cutting machine out, but this makes it super easy to finish a project very quickly. Um, I've used this to make pantry labels, basement labels, um, album labels, and also plan on using it for customized uh, birthday cards, greeting cards, you name it. This is an amazing product. It has an amazing product line that goes along with it and works seamlessly with it. So give it a try. Um, and if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you can see other tutorials that I do with the Cricut Joy. Okay, bye guys.